it's this evil bunny hair and um, we're here for an edition of INTJ problems um, so if you um, are watching this I'm assuming you already know what INTJ is and just kind of like familiar with Myers-Briggs pathology and, and the whole nine I became um, kind of hip to it maybe like three or four years ago I was like personality test and I just came came across it I'm like oh what is this and I found out that I am an INTJ um, INTJ I'm obviously and I'm an introvert and I'm intuitive and um, um, so being an INTJ and being a female and being a black female um, it, it comes with a lot of problems and I made some notes because I kind of don't want to forget anything um, first of all let's talk about how rare we are <laughs> you know especially for a female INTJ and um, I just want to say that I made a playlist of uh, different INTJ and INFJ um, youtubers so I have that on playlist I'll link it below but I, I would say one of my primary problems is that I'm not 100% um, INTJ I'm actually like if I were to spell it out like capital I, capital N, and lowercase t, and capital J, which which means that when it comes to thinking versus feeling, I kind of can go either way. Uh, I preferably, or like mostly when I test, I test as an INTJ, but sometimes I test as an INFJ, and I think like in terms of percentage, my thinking like percentage is like 12%, something like that, so I really can kind of go either way, which makes me kind of like a very dark sort of emotional emo person INFJs well we'll get into it um, <laughs> I was looking on Pinterest and it said you know um, MBTI types as elements and they said INTJ is as an element would be fire and an INFJ would be water which makes complete sense because water extinguishes fire and I can go either way I can be water I can be you know when you have an INFJ in the group that person is usually the counselor that person is usually everyone's therapist um, but then sometimes like I can turn up on people I can be anyone in an argument and these things can cause a lot of different trouble I mean just like in our rarity I think in terms of um, INFJ females it's less than one percent and then also for INTJ females we're less than one percent of the population I think INFJ is a little bit more um, rare than INTJ and females but they're we're less than one percent of the population so basically I can't connect anybody I can't relate to anybody and really anyone can relate to me when I find something that is a point of connection between myself and another person especially another female I hold on to that because there's so many things that I've talked about with my friends and I don't I don't agree with them at all it's it's very difficult to relate to other people and that's like a major problem people don't get you and in, in addition to people not getting you they're also a little bit intimidated by you because you naturally have just the best resting bitch face and I'm not even mad what that and you know let's see uh, what's the second thing we hate small talk oh my god I hate small talk. <laughs> I hate small talk so much, but I've gotten better at it. It used to be to the point where I would uh, go to work and instead of saying hi, good morning to everyone, and this was like only three or four years ago, I would just come straight in, open the door and be like, yeah, so do you guys have like the templates ready? <laughs> you know, like I, I would never like actually like greet people. It was crazy. People were like, no, 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 excuse me, Vanita, you need to come in and you need to say good morning. And you, I'm like, oh, okay, I mean, good morning, I don't know, like, how are you? Do you really care? Like, when people ask, how are you, do they really care? No, they don't. Um, but once again, it's pleasantries, and you kind of have to do it. Um, and I've grown into doing it a little bit. I don't do it too much, but I will give everyone a hi. How are you? Okay, so, and at the very least, that helps so much in the working professional world, and personally as well. But it's a problem, it's something that I had to develop. It's not something that I naturally do. I naturally just come in like, okay, so what are we doing now? What's, can we get a drink? You know, like no hi, no hug. I've grown into it, trust me. That's one of our problems. Um, what's another problem as an INTJ? Um, obviously I'm an introvert and I'm very introverted. Not so much, but I think I'm like 58%. 
something like that. So I'm not the biggest fan of being around a lot of people uh, right now. Um, I'm kind of yeah, transitioning into sales. So I can put on the face, and I accredit that to more so being an, um, you know, at times leaning towards being an INFJ because INFJs are awesome at being chameleons and adapting to their environment and kind of like being whatever the, the situation needs. So I can be whatever you want me to be in that moment. It'll drain the shit out of me. Like by the end of the day, I'm gonna go home and be like, oh my God, I'm not gonna talk to anyone for like two days, I'm not going outside. If I hang out, let's say I have an all day hangout um, on a Friday, I do not want to, uh, I probably won't hang out for another two weeks. You know, and, and that can be a turn off for people because when people think, hey, you're turning down, hang out with me, then do you not like me? It's like, no, I just need to recharge. I just, it's not you, it's me. I'm, I, I can't, I, my bat, as soon as I go outside, my battery starts going down. Like if my battery is charged from a night of just being inside and reading and, um, you know, talking to people online and writing, as soon as I go outside, my battery goes all the way down. So after a long work day of interacting with people, the last thing I'm gonna do is interact with more people. It's very stressful, but in every career, you need to network, and you have to kind of figure that out. And I, you know, I have different strategies on how to work on that. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video. But you have to network. You have to be around people. Um, maybe planning it out, and and that's kind of what I do. I'm not a very spontaneous person. If I if I'm doing something, it has to be planned out. It's to the point that I can like you so much, but if you tell me today that you want to go to Six Flags and I'm a psycho for Six Flags, I love Six Flags, I'm not going because that wasn't in my plan for today. It wasn't. We can plan that for two weeks from now and then I'll totally go and I'll be the most fun there. I'm the most fun person in the group when I'm comfortable. What else? Uh, being overwhelmed in social situations, especially parties and pulling an Irish exit. Now, if you know about Irish exits, uh, it's basically when you just sneak out the back door and you don't say bye to anyone. I used to be the queen of that. Oh my God, I used to do that. Like, I, I probably still do it sometimes. I try not to. It really just comes naturally to me. Like, when I feel overwhelmed or I'm tired, I kind of feel like I've had enough socialization. It's just time to go now. It's time for me to leave. I'm not mad at anyone. I'm never mad. I'm never mad at anyone. I'm never angry. It's just time to go. It's time to go home. So I used to do that a lot. I try not to, but... <laughs> it's kind of hard. All right, so this is another thing, um, and I think it pertains more to INFJs, but perhaps it does to INTJs too. Um, I feel like with INTJs, we want to kind of like rule the world in the background, make everything right, make everything organized, make everything make sense, um, and then we feel like the world would be functioning at a higher level. And in reality, it probably wouldn't because people don't want things in a logical way. And that's really something that's hard for me to accept. Um, people don't want things that just make sense and to do things like, oh, well, if I was you know, president, then this wouldn't happen, or this would happen, or everything would happen in this sort of order. But there would always be people fighting it. And even if you made things extremely fair, people, don't, people make a lot of emotional decisions. And um, I feel like this might be more towards INFJs, but we want to save humanity. We want to save the world, but we hate the world. We hate people. <laughs> like, like, I hate people, but I love people too, you know, and I want to help them and I want to listen and I want to change things for the better for the people that come after me. You know, I want to help women and children and, you know, uh, you know, single mothers. And I have all these sort of plans in my head on how I'm going to change things and policies and everything. Um, to help people, but then on an individual basis, sometimes I, I mean, I really don't want to be around anyone, and it's like a really weird sort of like dichotomy. How can I love everyone and want to save the world, and I hate everyone in it? These are these are INTJ problems. Um, so outside of not relating to anyone and not wanting to be around anyone and being extremely curt and blunt and not knowing how to kind of turn that off. I think that once you get a core group of friends, and I would suggest this to any young INTJ in the world, hey, how are you guys, you high school INTJs? Find your group and stick to them. Like, find your group of people that, and they don't have to be other INTJs. I'll be very honest, I've never met another INTJ in person. I've never met another INFJ in person. Most of the world are ISFJs or ISTJs or ISTPs. Interestingly enough, there are more introverts in America than extroverts. I think it's something like 60%, 40%. Like, I think it's 
60% of Americans are introverts and then 40% are extroverts, something around there. Um, but then there's sensors, which makes it different. And, and I think that makes a very big difference. I think I can kind of tolerate any sort of person, but the people I truly enjoy are at least, you know, um, intuitives, you know? Those are the people that I enjoy the most um, because they care about interesting things and they love reading and they, they won't just talk about things that exist on the surface. And most of the world exists on the surface and I think that's one of the biggest problems is that you feel like, oh, I'm so different and no one understands me. No one's interested in the same things that I'm interested in. Um, they'll listen and they'll, they'll not. But I feel like a lot of people just live on the surface and that is such a problem. Um, I know that other INTJs in, well, characters, uh, Walter White from Breaking Bad, Katniss, H Hunger Games, um, there are some others. I think we kind of get a bad rap because, you know, people think that we're like sociopaths. Nothing could be farther than the truth. Uh, I, I feel things so deeply, you know, like I feel things so deeply. I feel like if anything, we're kind of emo about things, but it comes from a lot of frustration. Um, because you have to adapt in this world. Like you can't be in your little bubble, your introvert bubble or your book bubble or your your logical bubble because people are just gonna pop that bubble and get really illogical. You know, you want people to make sense and people just don't make sense. <laughs> they don't make sense. So those are some of my problems as an INTJ. And then also, like I said, because I'm kind of like an INTJ and an IFJ hybrid, um, uh, I had to deal with all this hypersensitivity, but then also kind of being a badass, but then also being really emotional, hating everyone, but wanting to help everyone. I just want to help everyone. I hate you all. I hate you all. You're so dumb. You are so dumb. How do you make the same mistake twice, and then three times, and then four times, and then five times, and then six times? Why do you do that? But I love you. <laughs> Those are some of my problems as an INTJ. What are your problems as an INTJ? Um, YouTuber is Barracuda57 is an INFJ and Arthur um, Arturus. Is that how you pronounce his name? I love their videos, by the way. If you guys ever, ever see me, I love your videos. Your videos are really cool and entertaining. I have never met an INTJ or an INFJ in person. I think we need to do a meetup, but if we do a meetup, it'll probably be online, which is probably what we're doing anyway, and we wouldn't meet up, and no one would show up to an actual physical meetup. And that's why I never meet you guys, because we're never out. And that really sucks. <laughs> Alright, so that's this evil bunny. If you like this video, please like it and comment and subscribe. Make this bunny happy and subscribe to me. So this bunny is out and this evil bunny is in.